Thank you, Courtney. Good morning, everyone. Don Erickson here with American Independent Marketing. Hope everyone is doing well. Uh, it's a nice day here, April 12th, of course. Today we have a special guest from Life Secure, Chris Allen, regional sales consultant with them. Uh, Chris will be actually going over Life Secure's annuity lineup, among other things, and toolkits and all that good stuff. Uh, with that, good morning, Chris. How are we doing today? I'm good, Don. Thank you. How are you? I am excellent. Looking forward to the um, webinar you're going to be going over with us today. Excellent, excellent. So let's kick it off. Um, as mentioned, my name is Chris Allen. I'm a regional sales consultant for Life Secure in the Southwest. Uh, I am subbing in today for your regional sales consultant, David Coghill. Here his, uh, is his information on the screen. Uh, he would be your main point of contact uh, for any questions that you might have moving forward. Just in case you can't get them, I put my information in here as well. Uh, we, were, As I mentioned, we do work together, uh, but if you have something urgent, you wouldn't be able to get in touch with them, I'm available as well. So there's my contact information. Okay, today's agenda. We are gonna talk about the history of life secure, give you some background on where we come from. We're gonna talk about those three products, the accident, the hospital recovery, and the critical illness program. Uh, a demographic breakdown of who's buying our product and some sales tips and marketing ideas uh, that might help add some revenue to the agency bottom line. So Life Secure is majority owned by one of the largest health plans in the United States and was founded in 2006. Uh, we did start as a long-term care carrier and we do still have that product in our portfolio. Uh, we're financially strong and we really do focus on tech solutions and innovation. Um, so if you have used our products in the past and have used the agent portal, uh, you have an idea of some of our tech capabilities. We offer national coverage in 48 states, uh, New York and Florida currently being the exceptions. And then these products can be sold both on an individual basis or they work well in the worksite group space. So if you are in that marketplace, and uh, want some additional information on how these products fit, please feel free to reach out to Dave. And then Life Secure ranks among the top three carriers for individual accident sales according to LIMRA. So just some background, brief background information on Life Secure. And we can jump right into our accident program with accidental death benefit coverage. Issue ages are 18 to 74 and it is guaranteed renewable to the age of 85. It's guaranteed issue off of the face of the application. So depending upon when it hits the home office, it should be issued by the next day. We do offer an accidental death benefit of 10,000 on the primary and spouse and 5,000 for each child. In Washington state, your client has one year to seek treatment uh, under this accident plan. And those timeframes may differ by state. And so if you're doing some work in California, it might be slightly different in California than it is in Washington. And that information would be available in your agent portal. We do offer a zero and a $500 deductible options, and that's new. Coverage is 24 seven on or off the job, and it does not coordinate with other benefits. And these benefits are paid directly to your clients. And there aren't job exclusions, except if uh, an athlete is compensated for money, so a professional athlete. So if you have a, uh, a cheerleader like I did, and uh, she falls and breaks her arm, uh, you'd have coverage available for that particular event. So how does it work? How does it, how is it structured? How, um, how do you explain it at time of enrollment? Well, your clients, they choose their annual benefit bank. And that benefit bank will replenish every January 1st. So they have a choice. Minimum amount for an individual will be $2,500 up to a maximum of 15,000. And then if there's a couple or families, they can go to a maximum of 25,000. Now benefits can be used by one or all of the family members. So there's that umbrella protection. Everybody in the family would be working off that and in this example, that $25,000 uh, benefit bank that they choose. There are four rating tiers, individual, individual, and spouse, single parent, and there's a family plan. And then here's where we really differentiate ourselves. We pay the actual expenses. So in the example below, you're gonna see that Donna has an accident plan with a $10,000 uh, benefit bank. 
she has a deductible of $500 on this plan. And she went in and had a ski injury. So her reimbursable expenses, and that's off the EOB, are $8,800. She has a one-time personal accident deductible of $500. So she's going to net, based on that, $8,300 for this accident that she had. She still has the remaining benefit bank available to her uh, for her usage, and that deductible amount of $500 has been satisfied for the year. So it's a very simple plan, easy to explain at time of enrollment for your client. Some of the common ways um, and some of the common accident claims we get, slip and falls, uh, ladders, kids playing sports, uh, cheerleading, as I mentioned, animal or insect bites, exercise injuries, and car accidents. Those are just a few uh, of the types of claims that Life Secure sees. Uh, there are many, many others that, um, that potentially could be uh, paid as an accident claim. And uh, uh, as I said, this is a partial list. So I like to show rates and I, and I like to show them for a couple of reasons. Here you have, and in this day and age, we have a lot of high deductible health plans in place. And in this particular example, you'll see the benefit bank amount of five, 10, 15, and $25,000. So in your fact finding that you're doing with your client, um, you discovered that they have a $5,000 deductible on their health plan. This would fit in nicely for accident coverage on that health plan. And you'd be able to give some rating information for your client. And then the second reason that I like to show this is that if you're currently working with one of our competitors uh, and um, you're interested in seeing some potential rate comparisons, this would be a good opportunity to take a look at those. Now, keep in mind that rates may vary by state. Uh, and so in your agent portal and in your um, uh, enrollment tool, your quoting tool, um, as you populate the state that's there, the rates would be appropriate for each state that uh, you're working in. So good question. I like this slide because it gives you an idea of who's buying our product and where are the opportunities here. So you're going to see that the average age is 46 and it's a 54, uh, 46 split on male to female. Um, and spouses are included about a third of the time and kids even less. So your average benefit bank is going to be right around $12,500. And then if you look at the age split out down there, Look at the bottom line with the highlight there. Only 1% of our clientele are in that older uh, demographic. This fits up nicely with a Medicare program in which a person in the older classes may have some uh, potential accidents and slip and falls. Uh, so it's a good area to prospect if you work in that particular um, line of business. And then your average premium is right around $37 a month. So as you did your fact finding, you were able to satisfy that need and uh, the premium would be $37 and that's additional premium uh, for the, the agency as well. So at this point, we're gonna jump into our hospital recovery program. And it does have observation coverage and we'll touch on what those things mean and how they all work. This program is designed to complement the underlying health program. It is not designed to replace people's health coverage. It's used um, in conjunction with, it does pay cash benefits upon hospital discharge, and now the observation benefit. Um, and the observation uh, unit is a unit that is outside of the ER, where a person is placed um, so that they can be um, diagnosed and uh, the doctors can figure out what's going on with them. We have a 35-day benefit uh, on this particular plan of which Four of those days can be used in that observation unit. And then as the accident plan is, this assists in the recovery phase following a hospital stay, and the benefits are paid directly to the policy holder. The policy holder then decides what they want to do with, their, uh, with the money. Some of our key features on our hospital recovery program, the issue ages are 18 to 85. And as you can see, if you work in California, that's going to be different. And again, that would be um, highlighted in the agent portal when you're going to pull up this particular program. Coverage for treatment in an observation unit, that's new on this plan. And uh, we touched on what an observation unit is and the amount of days you can use uh, in the observation unit. A nice differentiator in the marketplace is that it is guaranteed renewable for life. And that's a new part of our program. And then as you look at the rating structure, there are their age banded unisex rates. 
So 18 to 29, all the way to 80 to 85. And as the client ages into or purchases the program, uh, uh, for example, in my demographic, I'd be between that 50 and 59, uh, the rate does not jump up as you approach 60 to 63. You lock into the rating structure where you're at. We do have some optional riders, ambulance, ER, and ER, major diagnostic exam and rehab facility benefits. Those are state specific. There are a couple states that do not carry these particular pro, uh, riders or they're not available. And that would be available on the agent portal as well. Guaranteed issue opportunities, two really nice places where you can market. In the senior marketplace, you have an option right there. The, as people age into the Medicare space at 64 and a half to 65 and a half window, uh, we can write a daily benefit of $200. And it fits in nicely with a Medicare program and there isn't um, underwriting on, on, uh, in that window that uh, the client has. So it is different, a little bit different in California. And you're gonna see that it's 64 and a half to 65 in California. So there's a six month difference there. Uh, but again, they would not, um, that would be reflected in the application and the marketing materials there. In the worksite space, we do offer a guaranteed issue daily benefit amount of $200. As I mentioned, we have a great worksite team. Uh, they help structure these plans and get them set up. They would be your first point of contact to work uh, a, a worksite case. Uh, and he can guide you through the process uh, that would be available with LifeSecure to uh, write a, a worksite opportunity for you. So let's touch on our riders. The emergency room and ambulance benefit. ER visit, one per calendar year is a $300 benefit payout. And as you can see, it's gonna be with that little asterisk on the bottom. It's gonna be per covered family member. Ambulance services, one per calendar year, ground transportation of 150, or air transportation of $500 benefit payout. Uh, anybody that's ever had any experience um, with this particular event and air transportation, because we did uh, in our family, uh, the cost is, is, is really, really high. So any type of benefit that can help defer some of that cost is helpful. Major diagnostic exam benefit, uh, $500 benefit payout for CT, MRI, or EET, and that's one per calendar year. And that's per covered family member as well. And then the rehab facility benefit rider, and that's a $100 benefit payout for each day that you're in that rehab facility. And that's immediately following a qualified stay, and that's up to 15 days per calendar year. Uh, so there are some additional riders that you can add to round out the coverage that you're working with with your client. So structurally, how does hospital recovery insurance work? Again, like the accident plan, fairly straightforward and easy to explain. Um, the client has a daily benefit amount between $100 and $900. And just like the accident plan, this is going to replenish every January 1st. Our annual benefit bank or the daily benefit amount selected is multiplied by 35. So you'll have that number as the amount of funds available uh, on the plan. Now, the amount available in a calendar year for each covered family member. So there's a difference between the accident plan. The accident plan, everybody in the family is going off that one particular benefit. In this, each person in the family has the same benefit. So our daily benefit amount in this example is $500. 35 days are the maximum allowable. So that benefit bank is $17,500, and that's available to each covered family member. So in this example, inpatient hospitalization below, um, Cindy had a daily benefit amount at the time of her enrollment of $500. She spent four days in the hospital, and so she got a check for $2,000. She has the remainder 31 days available to her through the rest of the year, and then it does replenish on January 1st. Just like the accident plan, here are some sample rates. Uh, you can see the annual benefit banks there and then the daily benefit amount. And then we talk about the age bands there and how we locked into a particular uh, age. Uh, so for example, in mine, if I was just gonna insure myself, my premium would be 2565 under that $7,000 annual benefit bank. Very straightforward and like the accident plan, it does give you an idea how to cover a high deductible plan and it gives you an idea of what our rates look like 
for some of the competitors out in the marketplace. So who is buying the hospital recovery program? Average age is 50 and the split is 50-50. And then you see that, that spouses aren't included often, nor are kids. But the average daily benefit amount is $435 for a monthly premium of $50.41. So as we talked about in the accident plan, if you're doing your fact finding and needs analysis and you cover both of these particular products would be a fit for your client and they're interested in them, uh, those premiums there, uh, as I mentioned, would be monthly and they do drive the revenue to the uh, bottom line of your agency. 53% choose a direct by, uh, excuse me, a daily benefit amount of 300. And then you see how it breaks out by percentages there. And then only about half are buying the riders. Um, and so it would, be, um, it would be good to be able to go through those riders, explain how they can uh, round out the program and add riders when they are appropriate. Now our critical illness program, you can see that those are the events below the heart attack, stroke, coronary artery disease, carcinoma in situ, prostate cancer, skin cancer, end stage renal failure, and major organ failure. So those are the uh, covered diseases at uh, the critical illness program. And how does, the, uh, how does it work? So issue ages are 18 to 70. Again, different in California by a few years. So it's 18 to 64, and then guaranteed renewable to the age of 75. We can cover children on this particular program. So there's a $2,500 benefit amount and that's at no additional cost. The benefit amounts range from $5,000 to $50,000. Rate structure is male, female, individual ages, nicotine, non-nicotine. And then these below are automatically included in the program. So you have a return of premium benefit, ROP, minus any claims that might've been paid. There's a health screening benefit of $50 per year. There are 30 covered health events. So if you go get your physical, go have a mammogram, a PSA, uh, those are some of the things that we'd be covered at $50 per year per person on the critical illness program. Reoccurrence of the same disease and subsequent diagnosis of a different disease. We're gonna walk through those so everybody has a good grounding on how those work and how we can work through the unlimited benefit that's on this plan. Okay, here are the diseases and the amounts that are paid uh, based on the plan that we'll go through here. Heart attack at 100%, stroke is paid at 100% of the face amount. Coronary artery, artery disease at 25%, invasive cancer is 100, carcinoma in situ and prostate cancer. And then you see end stage renal failure and major organ failure. Now, skin cancer is blocked out with 5% with a little red box on it. That is the only benefit that Life Secure uh, on the Critical Illness Program pays once. It is not subject to the reoccurrence benefit. And I'll show you how that works. We're gonna walk through an example here with the next slide. So how do we calculate it? Okay, this person was diagnosed with invasive cancer and they had a $10,000 program. So they get paid that $10,000 lump sum benefit at time of diagnosis. Six months later, you have, or that client has a heart attack. So they are paid $10,000 because that is the subsequent diagnosis of a different disease. So that's embedded in the bottom, in the, uh, in the base program. And then subject to this time frame, after being treatment free for a year, the invasive cancer returns. So there's the reoccurrence benefit and they get a 50% benefit at that point. So it's a $5,000 payout. Then one year later, they're diagnosed with skin cancer. And that would be that $500 payout that we looked at in the previous slide. So your total cash benefit payout would be $25,500 based on a $10,000 benefit amount at time of enrollment. So the plans are very lucrative and um, they do offer comprehensive coverage for these events uh, for your clients and uh, the reoccurrence and subsequent diagnosis benefits are, um, are very, very helpful to the clients as they uh, try to deal with these issues. So again, what do we cost? What does it cost to get a critical illness program? You can see 
um, some baseline costs associated with the amount five, ten, and twenty-five thousand. And again, we go up to fifty. You see the age breakdown there, and it gives you sample costs. So as the other two programs, as we talked about those. Um, covering gaps in high deductible medical plans or uh, just the client is interested in having it, uh, this will give you an idea of what, um, what it would cost to cover those needs that you uncover. So again, who's buying critical illness? The average age is 46 and you're looking at a female to male breakdown of 53 to 47. And then the average Face amount is going to be $17,435 with a premium of $41 per month. So this gives you an idea of, of averages, really, and it gives you an idea of, based on the other three programs, where you could potentially prospect for clients and how these programs, um, as we see them, fit into a portfolio of health products for uh, your potential clients. Here are a couple of sample marketing pieces. Um, these pieces would be in your agent portal, and they are, uh, this is, happens to be for the accident, but it does, uh, we do have them for critical illness, hospital recovery, and the other programs. What you'll find as well is that they will be state specific, so that uh, if there are differences, for example, as we look at the issue ages in California versus other states, uh, that information would be correct based on where you're um, getting, your, uh, getting your marketing pieces in the portal under what state. We just redid our agent portal and um, under these tabs you're going to find a different um, all sorts of things that would be helpful to you in your business. So for example um, under forms and marketing materials if you want to send out and we've talked about these marketing pieces you would click there click on the states and you'd be able to pick up what you uh, what you're looking for. Um, quoting tools under there you'll be able to quote your programs and be able to give prices and quotes to your clients and then jump into an application. Uh, and we've got a couple of ways and we'll look at those briefly as we move on on how we, um, we can get signatures and how we can send that information to your client. But it does help you run your business. There's commission statements, um, what kind of business, where your business is in the underwriting process. You get messages from Life Secure if something is pending and you need to deal with that. Um, you'd see that there. And then worksite tools. All of the worksite information that we touched on earlier in the presentation would be under that particular tab and would be available to you uh, if you work in that space. And then if you want additional information um, off of the national webinars or information that your RSC gave you, there are webinar, webinars, um, videos, and reference uh, pieces in the agent portal as well. So a uh, comprehensive group of information and tabs that will uh, help you run your business. We have our consumer buying link, which is a direct by agent link. And this is a sample of the updated uh, page inside the quoting tool of the Life Secure quoting platform. And if you were going to work this particular opportunity, you click on accident, for example, you could view the details there. You can walk your client through the benefit amount that they would want as, a, and as part of their program. Uh, and then at that point, you would be able to give them a price. And you can do that with each of the products and enroll each of the products at the same time. Uh, and then they get a final number, they'd agree to that, and you can jump into the enrollment screen. Uh, one note here that would be, um, if you are interested in getting additional training on how the agent portal works, please reach out to Dave. Dave would be able to walk you through all of these pages and all of these things to show you exactly how they work and how that can impact your business and how um, our technology capabilities are able to um, help you with your business and help them run smoother. As we talked about, uh, you can do your quote inside the agent portal there, the quoting tool, and then there are a couple of signature options that we have. So you can capture that either by email signature or by text signature. And as I mentioned, Dave can walk you through that and show you exactly how that works. Um, but it is a great opportunity. There wouldn't be a need for a face-to-face -face sit down with your client. You'd be able to do all of this uh, via your computer system and they would be able to respond and enroll um, right from either one of these um, pieces here. So simplicity of doing business. I like this slide because um, it kind of highlights some of the things that LifeSecure brings to the marketplace 
and why we feel that it's uh, an easier fit for a lot of agents because um, some of these items here. So we have ease of quoting and illustrations, and we talked on and we touched on the direct by agent link. We talked on the, um, the agent portal and all the information is, that is in there state specifically, as well as the ability to quote a product or products and bundle those products uh, and then send that out to your client for signature and enrollment. Applications or signatures are via text, email, and screen share. Uh, and you got a screenshot of some of those capabilities and what that would look like to your clients as well as to yourself. We can do EFT and credit card for payment. And then in the workspace, we do payroll deduct. So we put those on a list bill for the client uh, and the client would um, remit that premium to LifeSecure if this happens to be a worksite case. Paperless policy delivery, and that was via email there and you saw how that would work. Um, the client can get their, their uh, policy and policy specs delivered right to them uh, via email there. We touched on how the products work in both the individual space and the worksite space, group space, uh, and we have some guaranteed issue opportunities in each of those particular areas and how the products fit in certain demographics and uh, into your business. Talk to Dave if you have some marketing or co-branding op options available or if you want to talk about how you could um, market some pieces that would have some information with your agency as well as a co-branded opportunity with LifeSecure, we certainly can do that. Uh, and Dave would be your uh, contact person to do that. And then recently, we have developed a key partner console, and we are taking some of the premier producers uh, in our company, and we're, we're working with them on ideas on how to grow the company, how to make it stronger, um, what kind of problems they may have working with LifeSecure, um, and what are the best things they like about LifeSecure. So as those things come to fruition and we have those meetings, I think it's going to be a great opportunity for LifeSecure to be able to, um, to tweak some of the things we're doing and to make it more user-friendly agent friendly, and in the end, policy holder friendly. At this point, I wanna pop Dave's contact information back up into the, uh, onto the screen. And as I mentioned, Dave is your, your primary point of contact, his email, his phone, and um, he would be very happy to work with you as far as life secure capabilities or you know coming on board and getting contracted. So I wanna thank everybody for their time and for their attention today. And um, I'll turn it back over to Don. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, a lot of great information on all three of those products and how they work. There's only really a few questions, I would say, with just the accident plan being, is it fully guarantee issue? So there's no underwriting at all. Yeah. Uh, that was one. Correct. That's correct, it is. It's jet issue off the face of the application. Okay. And then for all of them, is there both, there was another one for applications, is there both e-applications available and paper apps for all th the products? No, we don't do paper apps. I, let me put it this way. Rarely would we consider doing a paper app. All of our information, all of our enrollments are done um, via the, uh, the portal and uh, online. Okay, yep. That's kind of where everybody's moving to. And with the COVID thing that all of these you know, went through, it definitely transitioned a lot of agents that did a lot of paper to um, doing electronic forms, which was absolutely you know, a way we tried to push for a long time, but that kind of gave them to get over that hump to do that a lot. So, yeah. and then also <clears throat> there was one other just turnaround times for the, uh, the products, you know, when the app goes in pretty much mm -hmm. what kind of turnaround times do you have for those? Um, on the, on the, Accident plan in general, if it, it, it depends on when it hits. Our home office is in Michigan, um, so in general, it would be within a 24 hour period. You'd be able to um, have that information, the policy issued. Um, on the critical illness and the hospital recovery, um, there is a simplified issue component to the underwriting, so there are four health questions, um, and we can get that information to you as well. Um, and if there are any hiccups on that, the underwriting could be extended some, but in general, you would have that um, underwritten and uh, assuming there are no other issues on the application, uh, generally within the week. Okay, perfect. So with that, a um, couple of things that we wanna make sure is that everybody has their contracting in order, in good order, just compliance things. We wanna make sure everybody's in order before they actually can write any business, uh, having your agent number, and uh, that's the biggest thing. But we will be reaching out from AIM here for the marketers, for all the agents that were on here and uh, answering any more questions that you may have 
or if you want to get appointed, we'll be there for you. Chris, thank you for your time today. Very much appreciated. Uh, with that, thank you. thank you guys for being on and have a great day. Thanks so much. Take care. All right. Bye.